Okay. So, not the most amazing in terms of the actual requirements, but you see, we actually got defense medals now. We could have gotten them all, but uh, we got cheaped out at the last second. Apparently, we... Actually, no, that's just potentially... Well, just slightly completed. We were the highest scoring player in the game. How about that? And, yeah, 1,300 experience points. It's gonna be a while before we actually have the Ice Shack. Well, the late model Ice Shack, but, well, it's not like the game isn't fun. So, let's get back into it. Uh, should be maybe three more games before we have the late. Hmm. Attention! You're entering the combat zone. Get ready for battle. Ah. Good luck. Ah, yes, now we are entering Danger Zone. Yes, like that movie. Yes, American capitalist jet fighter movie. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have rendition of Kenny Loggins' masterpiece on Balalaika and Accordion. We need this. One day we will have this, but we do not have it today. So we're going to have just imagine how cool that would be. I shouldn't even have to tell these people which point to go to, but you know you what, just in case. The front line. It is right go. in front of us. Go over there, shoot things, and we will win game. Potentially win game. We still have a little bit more work to do after that, but you know what? This is this is the first step. Okay, so we've got a bunch of light ground targets in front of us, so we are going to spam our rockets. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, multi-role superiority. All right, now we go after planes. There's one. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Ah! I help. But he explodes because capture point. Whatever. That way. Go that way. Seems like the enemy is having trouble capturing the only point that they have in front of them. And it seems like they've also... Lost planes to the AI defenders. Oh, goodness. I think I know where this one's going. But I shall not brag. I will not brag until we actually win. Then, then we can brag. My expert commanding is actually helping my team. Yes, in the, the points that are directly right in front of each other, so you fall over them. They still need guidance, however. Remember, this is a wargaming product. You cannot rely on your team. In order to win Wargaming product, you must be team. You must carry your team, so that you are, in fact, a your team, in a singular fashion. You are as equal as... Well, you are equal to 15 people as possible. Ah, cool. Seems like the enemy is now coming after us after they finally captured their one control point. Now we're actually going to have a fight on our hands. But oh, please, come! Capture the control point that we, that, you know, has 15 seconds before it actually comes open. Defense points! Oh ho! Let me just, uh, you know, cut the corner here on that turn. Uh, excuse me, hello. Hi there! Excuse me. I'm attempting to maneuver. Yes. Thank you. He is dead. Okay, they've got a heavy fighter all the way up there, but he's not gonna do anything up there, so I'm not exactly sure what the fuck his plan is. He has to come down- Oh, I see, here he comes. He has to actually come down here, and I think we can get away with defending this point. I don't think we have to actually push the advantage. Oh, it is buff. Eh. Oh, too slow. It is still too slow. Wait, wait. Eh, eh, no. One day I will get rocket kill. And apparently the Dorner 217, or rather the, what is it? The 17Z? Right, yeah, there's no 217. It's just a regular 17. That is actually apparently a special snowflake plane. Unfortunately, I don't have any way of getting it. 
Excuse me, coming through. Whoa, Jesus. I don't see any enemies coming towards us, and I'm kind of wondering where the hell all of them are. That guy, that guy's a butt and he's fucking around. Is he coming down to actually bomb them? No, that's not a bot, that's a player. Now, as you can see, instances where the player is worse than an actual bot. Amazing. This... No, that's not a bot. It's a player. I thought it said Roland, but it's refound. Hello! Wait, slam on the brakes. I believe I got defense points for that. I believe that counted. I was standing on point! I was defending... I was defending the motherland. I was holding ground. I have absolutely no idea what our team is doing, though. Well, what the enemy team is doing. Look, they're just kind of defending the one point that they have. But they're not gonna win the game like that. Mm -hmm. See, that's a bot, I believe. We've got one enemy actually over our base, but... Uh, he doesn't look like he's gonna do much. Remember, team game. As funny as that is to say. Also, hmm. Let's not! Oh, he dropped bomb. Oh. I was going to try and press rockets, but I pressed F. I, actually, no, I was pressing E instead. <gasps> oh, my fat fingers. No. People will know I am bourgeoisie if I cannot press the controls properly. Ah. Way to go! Victory is close! I'd like to hit the enemy plane, please. Thank you. He fired all of those shells and only like two of them actually hit. Then again, I don't actually know because simplified ballistics. You didn't think you were going to actually get a ground attack run off here. Thank you for stealing my kill, but whatever. Ah! Damn it. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Oh, Ishigi Shack. Do you read me? Who is already at well dead? Where is enemy plane? There is enemy. Plane. Okay, still have one, but where is he? It's it's that guy. What is he doing up there? Why? Whatever. He's not actually going to win up there. So, whatever. Fuck you. Game over. Ah! Oh, wait, no, now he's coming down here! Fucker. I'm proud of you, oh well, we win. Head back home. Alright then. Not a bad game. I... Now we can brag. Yes, you see, my, my export commanding at the beginning of the game helped my team, and also the other thing that helped my team is that the enemy team had absolutely no fucking idea what the hell they were doing for the vast majority of the game. Leading directly to our victory. And also, I just noticed we do not have any more hangar slots left. So we're going to have to sell something after we get done with the ice shack. Noted. Now, where did that put us on the board? Actually, top of board. Top of both boards. Yes. Good. Alright, now. Where does that put us? 3,141. That puts us actually one game, or one good game away from actually getting the Ice Shack. Well, the next Ice Shack. The second Ice Shack. The sequel to Ice Shack. Ishigi Diggy Shack. But, well, no reason to stick around here. Let's go. Hmm. Okay. Seagate. Typical base layout, or rather the, the medium-sized, because I think the large size has, like, six points, and this only has four. Or five or six points. This is, this is the, the meh size. Okay, so, uh... Exit stage right, yes, good, yeah, okay. You are approaching the front line. Off we go. Okay. 
Now, where should we expend these rockets? I think this location. I think this location would be good. Yes? It seems like prime location. Good! Fantastic! I helped. Where are the- uh oh. Go, go, go! Ow, 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 ow! Fucking goddamn heavy fighters! Ow! The heavy fighters are assholes because they have altitude advantage. However, that's not the- as, as you saw with that other guy beforehand in the last game. Altitude advantage isn't really going to get you much if you don't actually use it to attack. This still is still an airplane game, so altitude advantage does have some purpose in terms of engagement. However, we're all focused around objectives, so you can't just sit there and whore it in space like you could in War Thunder. And it looks what looks like the previous update of the well, the previous versions of the game allowed you to do because it just looked like it was just an arcade deathmatch inside a box. So whoever got to the top of the box had everyone coming towards them. So, massive advantage. Right now. Doesn't really seem that way, because if you're not in the control point doing stuff, you're not gonna get any points, and you're not gonna win the game. So, I think that's actually a very big improvement. Which, actually, you know, this is kind of the major problem with wargaming products. They have objectives, but the objectives don't fucking matter. Also the problem with War Thunder, too. Playing War Thunder realistic battle is like playing Counter-Strike with a bomb that doesn't work. Everyone just murders each other, because, haha, fighter combat. Meanwhile, meanwhile, me, playing bombers, mostly, either get killed immediately trying to do my job, or don't actually accomplish anything. Hey, we own those AA guns now, stop shooting. Thank you. Okay, where should we go? You men go that way. But doesn't look like my team, the enemy team, is actually capturing anything over here as well. Wow, these guys are still pretty incompetent. And a lot of them are team. Oh, a lot of them are actually players. Not that many of them. Right? Can't right-click on him. I can right-click on him, but that is a bot. But even with me on the team, well, actually, we have that guy as well in I-15DM. We could probably carry this game, but it looks like the guys are just kind of failing to comprehend actually capturing a point. They got one, though. Exactly one. And now we're promptly going to ruin everything by coming in and doing this. Aha! Uh-oh. Dang! Okay, I got him. However, ow! Those are the only two player, or rather, like, some of the few actual players on the enemy team. Oh, well. There's an airfield that can spawn literally right next to this place, so no big deal. I die, however, I come back because, well, that's the nature of respawning. That's why I like respawning. It allows you to fuck up, and therefore you can be a lot more daring. Hmm. And actually, not necessarily just daring and just being stupid. Daring as in, you know, doing things that, you know, you can extend your reach farther. You can be more aggressive because when you die, you don't actually die. You live, you die, you live again. So you can actually, you know, do things while being a little bit more, actually a lot more active than you would in a game where it's like, oh, if you die once, then you have to sit the entire game out. I understand why this concept thinks, you know, it leads to more skill-based gameplay, but really it just leads to a lot of, well, fucking passivity and just stagnation. See, World of War, well, I think World of Warships is probably the bigger offender of that one. Excuse me, coming through, whoa, we Jesus, wah! Excuse me. That's actually a player. Gotta watch out for him. 
And we're not being torn up by literally everybody, and apparently my team members did not... Decided not to come back and attack this base! Why? I have no idea! Excuse me, hello. I'm dogfighting with three fucking people at once. Excuse me! Remove! Wait, I didn't get that- no, no, I did get that deal. Ooh, ooh. Where does school? Where did school go? Oh well, fuck him. Oh wait, no, there's school. Wait, and then he proceeded to just kind of fly off. Okay. Okay, school. Goodbye, school. I'm being shot to pieces by the AA. No. Yeah, the school came back. Oh well, we're winning anyway. Big shit. Not doing the best on my team, but yeah, well. We've got the control points, and that's what matters. And yeah, the game's basically unwinnable for the enemy team. We're gonna spawn over here because it looks like the enemy's the enemy is concentrating their efforts here to attempt to do something. I have no idea why my team didn't immediately rejoin me in this control point, but whatever. Looks like I'm gonna have a couple of seconds to pick up a couple of more kills before everything kind of just ends. Okay, now. What are you fuckers doing in my control point? Eh! Ah, wait, I didn't have my rockets. Ah, fuck it. Excuse me, that's my kill. This guy isn't going to respawn! Do you copy? Thank you, okay. So now we're actually permanently killing people. Fantastic. And I suppose that's about it for the game, really, because by the time I get over the enemy base, everyone's gonna be done. Oh well. Heavy fighters are diving in here. The only problem is it's kind of a little late to actually do anything, boys. I'm proud of you, pilots. Head back home. All right then. Well, there's that. Back to hangar. I don't think we're actually going to get as the, the amount of XP that we need though for that one. I think we're going to come up a little bit short. Yeah, didn't do much. Yeah. Died too many times, but oh well. That's the nature of the game. It's less crushing than most. It's not like I died and did absolutely nothing, because there's respawning! Ah, uh, actually we're 500, we're actually about somewhere around two to 300 XP shorts. We're gonna actually have to play another game, because remember, do work! But actually, hang on here. How much XP do we need? Yeah, four or 500. Okay, so, one more game. It's not like I'm not having fun! Hmm. Attention. We are once again entering the danger zone! Get ready for battle! Good luck. Okay, so. Once more with this, and then we'll have a slightly better eye shake. Okay. Show me what you can do, pilot. Now. Let's roll. Exceptional commanding by me. Yes, go to the control point directly in front of us. Yes, good. Mm -hmm. Rockets away. However, they hit. They half of them hit pole. Oh no. But well, most of them hit. Hmm. Nothing to wake you up in the morning like a good ground attack one. However, our time is probably spent better on these planes. DPM! Okay, now, everyone. That away.
very simple logistics, however, I guess if somebody actually fucking does this, then we'll be less likely to actually, well, fuck up the game. And also this guy. Where? This guy came to the wrong neighborhood. Okay then. Done. Looks like the may that he, though he did actually delay us a tiny bit. The enemy is concentrating forces near the airfield. Meaning that the fight in front of us is actually going to be a really big fucking brawl, and by the time we get there, we may have a bit of an off well, uh, off balance situation to fight from. But it looks like our team members are doing fairly okay. BF-109B? Well... Let's clear the place out. Will you stop fucking... Stand still, you son of a bitch. As you can see here, rolling... It considerably reduces the amount of damage that I can put out to that guy. Which is annoying, to say the least. However... It does look like, yeah, we've got a problem. Hey, fuck you. I still can't fucking do it. Alright, now I'm gonna get chewed up by fighters. The ground attack aircraft are distractions. You can't really kill them without being attacked by other fighters. That's their, kind of their role. They're sort of setters. They fly in, and if you don't get near them, or rather, if you don't capture the, well, if you don't kill them immediately, uh, they're going to be able to damage the control point and get some, some semblance of points, so you need to attack them. However, they take so long to kill with most weapon loadouts that they are basically setting up someone else to hop on your ass to kill them. Well, to kill you. So, this is why going after them is not the greatest idea in the world, and however, we are kind of off balance here, because it looks like we did in fact fail to take the control point. There's a bomber way to fuck up there, but eh, fuck him. It's gonna take him quite a while to actually take out all of those control points, and actually control this area. However... That way! Hmm. See if we can actually kill this guy really quick. If I can actually get the fucking... There it is! Ow, 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 Fucking everything wants me dead. Ow. And it, I flew into the TSH. Son of a bitch. They're not good at actually killing planes, but that one's comically overarmed, so it can. Doesn't look like we're gonna win this, though, because it doesn't look like there's anyone on my team that's actually really taking initiative. I'm trying to, but I'm just getting stuck being mauled by enemy fighters. See, that brave soul is going that way, but I don't think he's really going to do much. That guy's probably dead. This guy... probably should get rid of him. Eh? Eh? Yeah, I helped. Okay. Now, what we need to do is actually go capture the fucking point. But it seems like... I don't know, everybody's just kind of fascinated with that fucking bomber up there. And now the enemy's reformed, and now I can't actually break through on my own. Get the fuck out of here, TSH. Get, get out of here. Get. You want to go? Let's go. I get it. No, didn't get him. But it was the fucking, it was an F2A. Well... We've already lost anyway, so I'm just kind of trying for my amusement. The 
enemy has control of we can't even the hold the control point that we're sitting on. Like this is the point where you kind of uh, sit and wonder, okay, is anyone on my team actually playing the game? Receiving reports well, about I'm not even going to be able to respawn by the time we lose. Support will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Attention yeah. all aircraft. Fall back and regroup. Oh well, I got enough XP, so, yeah, big shit. You win some, you lose some. 